Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a brand new tool that's yours for free and it allows you to extract entities from given text. And it's actually designed for SEO professionals and content creators to extract entities. Okay, and the way that it works is it uses advanced natural language processing techniques to identify and extract named entities. And you can use it as many times as you like. There's no charge to use it and it's free of charge to use. And the way it works, it works by you adding in a file a text file with lots of text and then to extract the entities or you can add up to 100 urls and the software will go ahead and scrape all the content bring it back and then extract the entities that way i'm going to be showing you some tips and techniques to work with this and how you can identify entities for your niche the top entities that you should be including inside of your content the very first thing i want to do is show you and make notes of why entities are very important so here's a quick um um a query that I've added into Google, the correlation between entities and Google rankings. And I just want to read this out to you really, really quickly. So it's saying by assessing the entity signals and their connections on a web page, Google determines whether that page is likely to answer the user's query satisfactorily. Okay, the closer the match and the stronger the relationship between entities, the higher the web page ranks in search results for that query. Okay, and I just want to quickly explain what an entity is. So according to Google, an entity is a thing or concept that is singular, unique, well-defined and distinguishable. Okay, this means basically anything, an object, a person, a color, a location can be an entity. Okay, and entities um, are ranked into four separate categories or the way that Google looks at them in the relatedness, okay, notability, contribution and prizes as well. Okay, so the, the key takeaway from this, guys, is having entities in your content is very, very important. It allows Google to understand uh, the wider meaning um, for your content um, and it allows you to rank even higher. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use the Entity Extractor. So this tool here, the Entity Keyword Explorer, uh, to actually extract content. So I'll show you how I like to work with this. Okay, you can add your URLs here. So you could add maybe one URL. You could go to this URL and extract all the content. In fact, we'll go ahead and do that first. So I'll come into here. I'll just add the one URL here. Okay, and I'll click on extract entities. And the software is going to go ahead. It's going to scrape <coughs> that URL, bring it back and get all the entities. So as you saw, it's very, very quick. And I'll have a look at the entities here, which what you can see is these entities are ranked in the order of most used. Um, so we've got things like Google, GMB, Google My Business. You also have things like these, which ain't gonna be very important to us. Okay, and even these location areas ain't gonna be important to us. You've got Persons, Darren Shaw, Don, um, you've got SERPs, Wikipedia, Rank Tracker. So these are actually ordered in the most popular entities that have been used the most on that one URL that we scraped um, and then we're able to see them here. What we also have is we also have this um, CSV file okay or this Excel file and this Excel file it categorizes them for us because sometimes we might not want to have a look at things like persons um, or, or sorry, persons or ordinals or numbers or what have you. So in here, you have them all ranked down here. So when you look at organization, you can see Google, GMB, Google My Business, SERP, Wikipedia, Rank Tracker, SEO Power Suite, SEO Google My Business Reviews. You look at the persons, you got Darren Shaw, uh, you got Jason Barnard, you got G uh, Greg Glifford and what have you. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how I like to use this and I'm going to be showing you how you guys can get the best results from this as well. OK, so the very first thing that I like to do is I like to go over to Google. OK, so I'll do something like SEO. I'll search for my seed keyword. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll actually change the results to show 50. So as you can see down here, it's already showing me 50. All you have to do is add this and num equals 50. And then you're going to see 50 results on here. You can do this with 100 as well. The software allows you to add up to 100 URLs. OK, um, but I like to do it with the 50. So I'm going to come over to this link go for plugin and I'm going to click on extract all links and then we're able to extract all the links. And then I'll just copy all the links down here, excluding the Google URLs, um, and then I'll add them inside of the software. I've already got a list down here. So as you can see, I've got 62 URLs in total I'm gonna to copy these URLs I'm gonna come along to this software and I'm gonna paste them inside of here and I'm just gonna make sure that the files are all closed okay yeah they're all closed and I'm gonna go ahead and click on extract entities and as you can see the software is fairly fast um, it is going ahead it's scraping all of the content 
and when it's done it's going to save it back to this file here okay scraped.txt as you can see it's only 27 kilobits because we only done the one url before but once this has been completed um it's going to be a much larger size so the software is going to scrape all the content save all the content to this scraped url file then it's going to go ahead and extract all of the entities from this file so as you can see it's now extracting the entities based on the natural language processing techniques okay and then it's going to um, give us two files with the entities in there and these files are going to show us the entities for the keyword seo for sites for the top 69 sites that are ranking inside of google okay so i'm going to show you the scraped content first of all so as you can see this is the scraped content it's absolutely huge and the reason it's so long is because we scraped 69 websites i think that's how many we scraped 62 websites sorry okay so i'm going to go over to the entities file entities.txt okay that's the wrong one i need to go over to entities from url.txt okay and what we can see here now is these are entities coming from the 62 websites and that are ranked in order of most used so what happens is the nat natural language processing gives us all of the entities okay from the text and then what we do is we calculate how many times those entities have been used in this given text and then we order them in the most popular so the most popular um entity here is google okay um, and then we've got rank math then we've got wordpress then we've got serp we've got google search we've got seo um, and we've got things like google analytics and what have you but as mentioned to you this is a raw file this is a file that has not been categorized so what we can do is we can actually go over to the csv file or the excel file and inside of here we can see all of the organization ones these are ones that we probably want to be including inside of our content okay we can see the groups and these groups are kind of like you know european dutch american africans so things that i'll probably ignore um, but then you can see the product and the products are normally good you've got things like javascript rank maths crm uh, shopify um, main organic competitors featured resource rubite rubrite whatever that is then you've got persons down here as well okay it's picked up things like sem rush um, and um, probably some other ones as well backlinko um, as actual persons um, so you would have to go through these if you want to add persons inside of your actual thing but you can see it's got matt cuts in there um, it's got some danny sullivan in here as well it's got some other guys in here as well okay another one that i like to look at is the work of arts now the work of arts is things like it's showing you things like screaming frog okay the play store google play um down okay google penguin the moz blog web crawlers okay and then you got this thing here as well this is a nice one the wayback machine domain overview link building uh wiki data wikipedia and then you got law as well okay um so you got things like apache 2.0 so anyway um these abbreviations or these headings guys uh we don't code these this is the natural language processing um mechanism that we use that separates it into these categories in fact if i take you over to google i was playing around with this earlier on um i'll try and find it here here we go okay so um as you can see you can add a sample bit of text inside of here so i've added some sample text inside of here and i've already analyzed it and these are showing me the entities and if i come down here you can see how they've classified them so you've got numbers okay um you've got things like other which they don't understand you've got work of arts i don't know why they've got guides as work of arts but you know the same kind of natural language processing skills that this works with okay um you got person a guy okay human people um blog post work of art so as you, as you can see these work of arts even though we might not think it's a work of art um but this is how um you know the ai actually classifies um these down here for us so anyway guys this is one way that you can work with this and the really cool thing about this is that you're basing it on sites that are ranking inside of google for your keyword you're then extracting all the content from those sites you're running that content through a language model to extract the entities and then you're sorting those entities based on most used and this is what you get back here in this file guys it's free of charge to use there's no prices there's no extra additional costs involved in this which is absolutely brilliant let me show you something else that you can do with this as well so if you don't want to scrape urls guys and you just want to add a text file then all you have to do is add a text file in fact what we'll do i've got this text file here paragraphs okay and as you can see this paragraphs file is fairly large as well obviously not as big as the last one or maybe it is the same size as the last one let's have a look okay no it's not as big as the last one um so i'm gonna bring this inside of here i'm gonna actually delete these 
to here. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring that file inside of here. Click on paragraphs and I'm gonna click on open and I'm gonna click on extract entities. And as you can see, it's extracted the entities very, very quickly. We can see the list of entities up here. Okay, AI, Google, HubSpot, Bankrate, um, I don't know, CNET, Search Engine, Land. Okay, I forgot what even this content was for. Okay, it's actually for the keyword AI content creation for SEO. And if you have a look at the entities file, then inside of the entities file, you'll find exactly the same groups as well. Now, just to let you know, sometimes you don't get all of these groups from the text that you've scraped, and that's because they haven't been found by the AI. Okay, um, it's not that you, you know your con that the software is not working; it's that the AI has not been able to find that particular category uh, to put them in there. So sometimes you might not find persons, for example, because it hasn't found any. Persons. It might not find any times or ordinals, um, in which case, you know, th this is the way they would work. Um, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to um, bring to your attention how you can actually work with this. It's really, really cool. It allows you to extract one URL or it allows you to do up to 100 URLs at a time. And you can get these URLs from Google for your keywords, knowing exactly what the content's going to be about. Alternatively, you can even go ahead and add all of your content to a text file and then analyze and split that text file up as well. So all you have to do is click the link below this video and you'll be able to enter your name and email and then we'll send you over the software free of charge. So thank you very much and I really hope you enjoy working with the Entity Keyword Explorer.